Hey guys, what's up? Nash here, and today I'm going to be talking about some stuff that I caught that caught my eye in the new free for all playlist coming out for Judgment. And um, it's about time they made this coming out because I kind of was hoping they would make something a little one v one v one. I mean, they had the wingman playlist, which is a bunch of two v twos, but now we kind of get to go head on versus one v one players, and hopefully there won't be many two v two two v ones where both players are going for the same kill, and um, it'll hopefully those scenarios will be avoided in this. But it's very cool that they're making this new playlist. I mean, we love new game types. When Overrun was coming out, everyone was thinking like, okay, it's Gears of War 3 with one new game type and different maps and a different campaign with few new guns. But now that we're kind of getting into it, maybe they might just have another new playlist instead of Free For All and Overrun. Um, maybe they'll have different stuff for Horde mode if they're hopefully bringing that back. I would love to see that again. But it's about time they made it too, and it definitely changed my view about the game being an exact almost exact replica or copy of Gears of War 3. So I'm gonna get right into this right now. Okay, so right here they show us this new kind of thing and it's called the Breach Shot. In my opinion, I think it's just another sniper, but it looks so cool. It may just be a bolt action rifle, but no one really knows for sure right now. But, I mean, if it's like a bolt hawk just in rifle form, that's gonna be really sick. Alright guys, so in this first picture of the Breach Shot, I wanna analyze a few things about it and uh, about this screen in particular. If you look back at the clip that we, I just showed you with the breach shot, if you look very closely, you can kind of see that it's already being aimed in the middle without the guy actually holding down the left trigger to aim it for you. You can look very closely in the middle, and it's a little uh, faded circle for the aimer. And that's the one thing that's kind of sketchy about this new user war for me. Will blind firing be taken out of the game completely? Will it just be easier for people to do? Or is it still going to have that little area where people should aim it like it's not going to be dead center, but you can kind of quick scope a little easier, but I'm not sure. So anyway, this gun is called the Breach Shot, and I'm not too sure if it's just a new sniper or if it's just a new gun they're adding to the game, like a bolt action rifle. Um, I do remember seeing in the Overrun gameplay that they were showing the long shot that we all know and love, and it was just like the ones that happen on those uh, weeks sometimes, where they put four shots to a clip, then you reload, then another four shots, and you're done. And I don't know if that's permanently in the game. I mean, it would be kind of fun. That's my favorite sniper. But people really do spray with that sort of thing. That's the one thing I don't do in those game types. I don't spray it out. I take my time with the shots and no scope so I can hit them. But I'm not too sure if this is going to be the new sniper or not. Or if it's just a new bolt hawk. And uh, if it's just a new bolt action rifle. That's going to be part of the game. I mean, it would be cool if it was a new gun. But I don't want it to completely take away the spot of the long shot. Because, I mean, the long shot, in my opinion, is just... I feel like it would be so much better. And this reminds me of the bolt hawk a lot. And I do love the bolt hawk. It's my favorite gun. Every time I'm the one who picks it up, and I usually get a headshot or two, and sometimes I can get uh, feeds with them, and I'll get I, the most I've ever gotten was a triple kill with it. But I mean, the bolt talk, I don't want it to be replaced. But if it had to be, then I guess so. But it really just reminds me of a longer version of the bolt talk pistol, and I'm not sure if blind fire is gonna be taken out of the way. But either way, hopefully the long shot is still around. I mean, it was in the overrun gameplay. So let's go to the next uh, clip I have here. Alright, so right here is a clip of uh, the Vulcan cannon from uh, Gears 3 in that one mission where uh, all the guys are taken over, and that's going to be kind of cool to see in the uh, multiplayer. I could have sworn they said it was going to be in Gears of War 3, but I guess not, I saw that wrong. But it's here now, and it's going to be uh, pretty cool to see in the multiplayer. Hopefully these guns aren't only in the free-for-all game type, but um, this next clip right here is basically where everyone's going to lose their mind, so get ready. Okay, so everything's nice, seems nice and normal here. Girls open up a library. Wait, what? Judgment 03 did what to Judgment 02? So, oh, fuck no. Okay, it might, it may just be me, but didn't everyone rage at him for putting in the retro lesson to start off? And then he quote unquote said, I, if I could go back in time, I'd move the sort off shotgun. Yes, I admit I'm wrong. Okay, so if you're wrong, how about you fucking prevent the problem from coming back into Gears of War? By just don't not putting it in the new one. Like what the hell, man? You're losing your mind over here. I mean, if you just looked at that clip, you saw that fucking guy was retro answering the other guy. What is the point and what is the sense of putting in guns you regret putting in and then throwing them back in on the new one? Nobody likes them. Leave a comment down below if you guys do, so I can just fucking rage. No, I'm just kidding. Just leave a comment down below though if you were agreeing that he messed up and put the sawed-off in there. I mean, I I can destroy people with sawed-offs, it doesn't really matter to me, but the gun is so annoying, I mean, okay, that last thing I said, it does matter to me. The gun is all out just stupid. If you're one of those people who uses it for the metal, eh, I don't really mind it, but if you were one of those new fags out there, 
who just rep who represents or just reps for the fucking retro lancer solo combination. Honestly, don't even use the excuse, hey he put it in the game when he admitted he was wrong to it, but apparently not now because he's putting it back in the game. So Cliff Blazinski man, I don't know what the fuck you're thinking. You guys should tweet at him saying, What the hell? I saw this video, this Nash Potatoes guy threw up here and you said he like we all saw the quote Cliff, like, God damn man. But whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it, though, for this video. That's just a few of the things that caught my attention. Maybe I'll do another one on, on some things that I uh, want to throw in this video. But if you guys uh, missed out on some of the things that I you just learned in this video, please give it a thumbs up and please comment down uh, if you guys have any, any other things that uh, you should bring to my attention. Although they already may be on my mind, so share this video too if you guys want to uh, see some of the share some of the love and some of the news that's going to be in the new Gears of War that you can't wait to show your friends. So. It's been me, guys. It's been real. I've been Nashed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.